Hey, Coppell artists, let's make a self-portrait. Starting in the center of our paper and using a pencil, I'm gonna practice drawing with my finger first and we're gonna draw a U shape for our face. Find the middle of your U shape and we're going to draw our ears. Your ears are in the middle of your face. So I'm using a curved line, kind of like a letter C, to draw my ears. Next, let's add our neck. Try to avoid drawing really skinny tree trunk necks. Give it two curved lines and then you can connect it with a curved line and add two more curved lines coming from your neck all the way to the edge of the paper to show your shoulders. Now everyone's hairline is different, but look at your hairline and see how it falls across your face. Mine kind of swoops off to the side of my forehead and the same on the other side. And now I'm drawing the very top hairline. For my boys out there, don't worry, I didn't forget about you. Your hairline might look something like this. And don't forget to connect your hairline all the way to your ears. Now let's make it look a little bit more like us. Our eyes are going to be in the center of our U, so pretty close to where you drew your ears. You can draw them however you'd like, but I'm gonna draw them a little bit more cartoon style. I added a curved line with a circle, and I'm even giving it some nice and long, pretty eyelashes. For your nose, we're gonna use a curved line. The line should begin close to your eyes and then stop halfway with the rest of the space that's left. You can see I'm kind of practicing a little bit. Using my finger, I'm gonna draw a line that goes in and then it goes back out. With the rest of the space, find the middle and that's where your mouth is going to be. Draw a curved line or whichever expression you would like to show. The next step is super important. Make sure you're using a permanent marker like a Sharpie. You can use a thin or a thick one. You will want to avoid washable black markers like Crayola. Use your permanent marker to outline everything in pencil. You can see after I traced my drawing, there's still some pencil lines. So grab a big eraser and erase all the lines in pencil that still show. Try to avoid drawing lots of lines in your hair because we're actually going to end up coloring in all that space. Using a larger permanent marker, no worries if you don't have one, use that to color in all the space for your hair and I even colored in my eyes as well. Today, we're going to be using watercolor paints. I'm using a type of watercolor called liquid watercolors, but you can use a regular traditional watercolor palette. You'll just need to add some water to it to wake it up. If you don't have watercolor paints at home, use what you have like color pencils, crayons, or markers. Get creative. Starting with one color at a time, I'm going to start dipping my paintbrush carefully into the red. And what shape you're gonna create today is a square or rectangle. We're basically gonna fill our entire painting with lots of rectangle and square shapes, but with different colors. And don't forget, each time you need a new color, make sure you wash out that brush really well so that you don't get other colors dirty. My finished painting is filled with lots of beautiful and bold colors. Hold on to your artwork for next week because there's a part three. Today, we're gonna finish up our self-portraits by adding some symbols in our background inspired by the Dallas artist that we just learned about Allie Koch. Using the step-by-step -step drawing guide in your Google Slides, begin to pick out which symbols represent you. For example, my favorite plant is a cactus, so I decided to add one in my background. Try to fill in your background with lots of different symbols. You can see I'm changing up the sizes. Some are bigger and some are smaller. You'll notice that I'm confidently starting with a Sharpie pen, but please start with a pencil if you feel more comfortable. Feel free to look up images using your iPad to draw other symbols if you don't see a step-by-step -step guide. Remember, try and keep things simple. We're just drawing the simple outline and shape of our favorite things. And that's it for this project. This is the last part of our project, so when you're finished, go ahead and upload a photo into Schoology. Can't wait to see it.